We've got this continuing problem in this country, specifically the Dover coastline, with all these dinghies day in, day out, coming over and over and over. You know, never mind the issue we have with Ukraine right now, what to do to help people genuinely in need, where, by the way, the men are staying behind. Where do we put them? The answer is hotels all over the country, and it's costing the British taxpayer £5 million a day. As we've discovered, and according to the media, something like 3,000 of them have already crossed the channel so far this year, and it's only March. <laughs> Now the fact this has been reported by the mainstream media, I suspect the numbers are probably far higher than that. Well, eventually, you see, we're going to run out of hotels. We've even had them, thanks to footage recorded by Steve Laws, sleeping on benches in churches and they all get hot meals and all the rest of it. Eventually, something's going to crack, something's going to give and they've got to go somewhere. The answer should be right back where they came from, but we obviously know by now that's not going to happen. Well, we have this new scheme for Ukrainians, don't we, where British families and so far 100,000 people or 100,000 families have flung their doors open and said, yeah, come in, and they get 350 nickel every month for it. Oh, they've got to stay here for six months minimum, by the way. I wonder how that scheme would work cover-wise, hmm? How do everybody? Welcome back to the channel for a Tuesday. Uh, yeah. I knew this was going to happen sooner or later. I really did. I couldn't believe it when I read it, but uh, no surprise at all. We have this scheme uh, for Ukrainian uh, refugees. Ukrainians in need of help come over here and they can stay with a family who are willing to take them and get paid £350 a month for the privilege. Well, is it a one-size-fits-all approach? You tell me. Yep, they want to expand the scheme to the like of the people coming over by dinghy into Dover every day. And we know the demographic, the people that make up the majority of the, you know, passengers on those dinghies. We should have seen this coming, shouldn't we? You know, oh, have a Ukrainian, let's have an Afghan for for the same price, open your doors. Well, I'm sorry, it doesn't work like that, you see. In the Ukraine, there's a war going on. Men are staying behind to fight for their country and sending their women and their children to safety. Who need help? We're looking out for them. You know, something like two million of them have fled to Poland and being dealt with, and we've said here, come here, we'll give you shelter, and here's 350 pounds a month for the people that do it. The Afghans that come over here, despite what it says in the paper with the odd picture of a child or a woman put in, we know what the majority of these people are. It's, uh, no, I'm sorry, this doesn't wash at all. And I would think that the 100,000 that have opened their homes for Ukrainians, I would be very surprised if it's the same amount for the Afghans and everyone else coming over on the dinghies. I think it's a crazy idea, but not a surprising one from our beloved government, who seems to be really in touch with what goes on day to day. Let me know what you think, but from this quarter, not a chance in hell to lose.